Hi everyone. Uh, so this, there was a 10 card fit that kept coming up in my lessons uh, that, that I wanted to just record a short video on so that those who I couldn't cover it for, for enough time uh, in the lesson uh, could, could get a second chance to visualize it. And so I made a new hand that has the same suit combination that also has something interesting to do with the bidding. So we open a heart and it goes past and our partner bids two no jump Jacoby, uh, four card support and a game forcing hand. Now, systemically, over to no trump, opener's job or opener's responsibility is to show shortness at the three level, uh, or if they don't have shortness, then they have a few options, or they could show uh, a second five card suit at the, at the four level, but we don't have that. So our systemic bid on this hand would be three spades, but this hand is so good that I'm planning on going key card anyway, and I can kind of envision that it's possible we could get to a slam where where maybe the opponents need to cash the ace of spades before we throw it away on diamonds, or uh, the other side, maybe they need to lead a diamond so that uh, when they get in with an important, like the king of hearts, that they can cash a diamond. Uh, I'd rather just keep my mouth shut about all the information on this hand because I know I want to drive to slam. So instead, uh, instead of showing my hand, I just would bid Blackwood, key card Blackwood, and it went, uh, so, and it goes pass and partner bids five hearts. Now, five hearts, it's two without the queen of trumps. So we know partner has the ace of spades and the king of hearts. Uh, what's special about this situation is we actually have, we because of partner's Jacoby, two no trump, promise four card support, we actually know that we have a 10 card fit. And when we have a 10 card fit, we actually don't care whether we have the queen or not. Because when we play the ace or we play the king, and the opponents only have three of them, so they're gonna break two one or three zero. And funny thing about the odds, uh, I, I said to, to Jenny in the car, uh, I said, what are the odds that a suit breaks two one? And she says, uh, I think 78%. And, and so I, she said it, but I'm not sure. And so sure enough, I looked it up and it was, she was right. 78% of the time the suit breaks 2-1. So we don't need the queen. Uh, so because our partner promised us four and because we have six, we, we know we have 10 in total. So we don't have to worry about the queen. So we actually have all of the key cards and the queen of trumps or, or what, something to compensate for not having the queen of trumps. So now we can, that's, that's a perfect time to bid five no trump. All we really need now from partner to make a grand slam is for partner to have the king of diamonds. So we bid five no trump, it goes pass and we're playing specific kings. So our partner bids six diamonds saying, uh, yes, I have the king of diamonds. I have the king of diamonds. So now we can place all the cards where we need to. Uh, we, the, uh, the king of hearts is, is takes care of the heart suit. The ace of spades takes care of our little spade. The king of diamonds takes care of our little diamond. And either partner only has three clubs and we can rough our last club or partner has a club fit and then the club will, will be good. So we don't really have to worry. We're definitely uh, good to go to make seven hearts. So we're going to bid seven hearts and it goes all pass. Now... The opponent leads the jack of clubs, and this is this is dummy comes down exactly how we'd expect. Uh, partner showed us those two key key cards and the king of diamonds, and that was just what we needed. So, if you take a moment, you realize we have no spade losers, we have no diamond losers, we have no club losers because we can eventually trump that eight of clubs and dummy. All we have to worry about on this hand is the trump suit. So we have a 10 card fit, we're missing the queen. And we, we already know that uh, from Jenny that trump suits break 2-1. When we're missing three cards, the suit will break 2-1 78% of the time. But there's still a chance that they break 3-0. Oh. And now, uh, look at, the, I wanna show you all, all the hands on this hand. So here on this hand, East has queen 10 third of hearts. So in order to make, to make sure, in order for us to not lose a heart trick on this, in this suit, it's very we have a, it's very important which way we play the hearts. So it's going to go jack low low, and we win the ace. Now we if we play the ace, what's going to happen is you can see that after they discard east, it's going to definitely end up with the third round of hearts. So on this lie of the cards, it was very very important uh, that rather than cashing the ace of hearts, instead we if we went over to dummy, we would see that that West didn't have any. And then on the way back, we can finesse the heart. And so the question is, 
uh, that, that I would often get in class when the suit combination comes up is how do you know that it's queen third on that side? So what, what's special about this suit is that we do not have the 10 of, uh, of hearts. So if West had the queen 10, eight of hearts, there would be nothing that we could do in order to prevent a heart trick. So with this heart suit, uh, if the suit breaks 2-1, we're good to go. It doesn't matter how we cash our hearts, right? We can cash ace-king, we can cash king-ace. When they break 2-1, it's not going to matter. And, but when it breaks, when they break 3-0 with the queen over here, we have to start by, by, by going over to the king first. And just to show you the other layout, when queen 10 third is with our left hand opponent, even if we win the ace of clubs and play, and play the ace of hearts, that's not gonna help us because when, when we go to play our second round of hearts, West is gonna have no problem putting in the 10 and their queen will be good. So there's absolutely nothing we can do about it when West has queen 10 third of hearts. So to, to recap this, this hand and just to break it down where we can't see the opponent's cards, when you have this 10 card fit, there's 78% of the time, it will not matter how you play the suit. You're gonna play the king of hearts and the ace of hearts and the suit's gonna break. 22% of the time, the suit's gonna break 3-0. And half of those, there's nothing we can do about it. When west has queen 10 third of hearts, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, but when east has queen 10 third of hearts, there is something we can do about it. So the right way to play the suit is to lead low from the ace jack six to the king. That way, if West doesn't have any, we'll know to finesse the heart on the way back. And the difference, one of them is a seven, one of, if you play the ace of hearts, you're 78% of the time, you're gonna make, not lose a heart. And if you play the king first, 90% of the time, or 89% of the time to be, to be exact, uh, you will, you are going to, so that, that's not that much of an edge. Most of the time, you're going to be the same as everybody, no matter who cashes what. But the, if you play all suit combinations in the technically correct way, over time, it's going to add up. If, even if you think about it, if you have 10 suit combinations in a day that were like that, on average, one hand, you're going to be picking up a trick. So it's really important that you focus on what suits you can, you can handle. I'm going to continue this video, making videos like this for you to help you see. I'm going to work on some more 10 card fits starting next week week and hopefully we can start to get into a rhythm of how to figure out these suit combinations on the fly because it's a lot of memory work we don't want this to be memory work we want it to be about understanding why you have to cash the king of hearts thank you see you soon